In the early months of 2024, tens of thousands of Indian farmers began to gather in New Delhi, the capital of India. Their demand was simple, guaranteed prices for their crops. This was not a new struggle. It was a resumption of a movement that had led to the repeal of contentious agricultural laws in 2021. As the farmers marched towards the capital, authorities blocked their progress, leading to clashes and numerous detentions. The farmers were undeterred. They continued to demand guaranteed crop prices, income doubling and loan waivers. Their call was for legislation that would ensure minimum prices for all farm produce, not just essential crops. Historically, the government has set minimum purchase prices for essential crops in order to stabilize food reserves. Despite the farmers' pleas and ongoing discussions, no consensus was reached. The protests, which began in the northern part of India, soon drew international support, with the world watching closely as events unfolded. The farmers' protest was more than just a demand for better prices. It was a significant challenge to the government, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, particularly in light of the upcoming elections. Now, it's been a few months since the farmers first took to the streets. The discussions between the farmers and government officials still have not yielded any concrete results. The farmers continue to protest, their demands remaining the same, guaranteed crop prices, income doubling and loan waivers. The protest has had a significant impact on the nation, drawing attention to the plight of those who toil in the fields to feed the nation. It has also raised important questions about the rights of farmers and the government's responsibility towards them. In summary, the farmers' protest of 2024 is a continuation of a struggle that began years ago. It's a demand for fairness, recognition and rights. It's a call for change. As we speak, the protest continues, with no clear resolution in sight. The farmers remain steadfast in their demands, hoping for a future where their work is valued and their rights are recognized. And so, while we enjoy our meals today, let's spare a thought for those who make it possible. The farmers of India, the ones who feed the nation,